DC here. Hi guys and gals. I was going to wave, but I've got a beer in this hand. Oh, I just finished mowing my lawn. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, it's a long, it's, it takes me a bit more than an hour actually to do it. And I, I checked, I think I walk about four kilometers mowing the lawn. So it's, it's a good, it's a good bit of exercise. Yeah. I hadn't mowed it for at least three weeks and it wasn't long, but it was, you know, like when you had uh, those long stringy weed-like things, there was nice flowers as well, but when it's been very hot, the lawn doesn't grow that much. And I don't really like mowing it when it's been hot, but it really kind of needed it. And I filled almost a full container just of those stringy things. So yeah, anyway, I'm glad it's over. And uh, it is about 25, 26 degrees now. It's not very hot, uh, but it's, you know, it's getting on the warm side, put it that way. Up to that temperature, I kind of like it as summer. More than that, I find it's way too hot. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. I know we're gonna have some rain before long. Oh, every time I, I start a vlog, or actually I should put it the other way around, every time I finish a vlog, I, I remember something I wanted to chat about. And either the next time I either forget about it or, uh, you know, think about, oh, maybe it wasn't worth talking about anyway. But uh, not not too long ago, I I'm pulled out some old family pictures from the early, early 50s. Um, 50th wedding anniversary of my great grandparents. And they were black and white. Pretty, I was gonna say, okay quality as far as the resolution goes, uh, but not great. Not great as far as the, how can I say, the composition. You know, people didn't smile much then. Have you ever noticed pictures? There's a lot of people in those days they didn't really smile. It makes me laugh because that's, you know, like what they tell you to do now if you take a passport picture or an official document. They do not want you to smile. Supposedly face recognition is easier that way. So it must be that people, you know, were ahead of their time. Anyway, I've, I've this great grandmother of mine, uh, Grammy Hamlin, never, I, I don't have any memory of her smiling. And I asked her kids, which some of them are, Actually, no, none of her children are still alive. But when they were her grandchildren, which would be my mom's generation, there's still a few of them around. And uh, they, they all say the same thing. No, no, she never really smiled. Not that they can remember. <laughs> but anyway, and my her husband, so my grandfather, Hamlin, who, my goodness sakes, he died in the 1960s, so... I got a vague, very, very, very vague memory of having seen the man, big guy. He loved horses and he was the postmaster where he was. And he was born actually in Rutland, Vermont. So I often wondered, you know, why didn't the family at the time keep some type of dual citizenship? They could have, uh, and that would have been, you know, passed on. Although I don't know if I really in today's world, and it has nothing to do with being an American or not, it has to do with money, actually. Financially, if you're an American uh, and you live abroad, you actually have to pay taxes to them. And it's a, it's a, it's a pain. Anyway, over here, that's one of the, the bank always asks the question, we even have to fill documents every now and then, where we state, you know, that we're not American, because it creates a whole series of extra red tape. Hmm. But yeah, I was saying I was using those pictures and I colorized them. And um, I use some um, AI, different AI software. So there's a, the Topaz suites where I could sharpen the pictures and improve, seriously improve the, the resolution. Uh, it's a mixture of sharpening and softening, depending on where you're working at, you know, like, and the, uh, and the AI removes like the creases in the, or the scratches in the pictures, stuff like that. And uh, then there's on, in Photoshop, there's a, 
there is an AI coloring tool, which is actually very, very impressive. Uh, and it gives you different variants. So you, can, you don't have to actually choose one or the, you know, I mean, uh, take the only one that's there and you can play around with it. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of things. And I was extremely impressed. I mean, they came to life. And the black and white picture, which I had improved as a black and white picture, was really good. But then I, you know, I just went back to the original and started from scratch. And that was actually very, very impressive. It was nice to, to, see, to see that. And I was a lucky person that some family member, because I'm on some, in a group called the Eastern Townships Group in Facebook. And a family member had at the time uh, put a picture of this couple at their wedding. So I had a couple, oops, there's a big slide. Yeah, no way. I had a picture and I made a, a montage of them uh, and their wedding and their 50th anniversary. It was interesting to see like uh, uh, how they changed, but also what, what did not change. Like, you know, the my grandmother's, great grandmother's lack of smiling at the time. But it was also impressive to see uh, how small her waist was and things like that. You know, it was a, she was actually quite, a, quite an attractive lady. Only she had smiled. <laughs> anyway, well, that was, you know, playing around with that. So you see, that was not what I had thought about talking about. And finally, I guess I'm just gonna chat about this. So yeah, with all these different AI tools, I mean, I know you can make fantasy images. I, I well, Dave Nicholson does a lot of those uh, fantasy images. And I've tried a few, but I don't have a, a free account like he does. Um, it doesn't allow me to have one. I should put it that way around. When he did it, he was able to get a free account. I cannot anymore. Uh, he mentioned that once in the vlog, but, so I won't talk about it. But, um, but the different tools that I'm working with, I'm working on ancient pictures and reworking them. And it is a very, very impressive. Uh, although, I mean, you can recreate history in a way. I say that because uh, I, I made a really nice uh, improvement of a, of a picture of my mom when one, probably some prom dress or something. But the, the, the way it colored it, it made it a very nice color. But like my mom said, it wasn't that color. How could I know? And how, in a way, how could the, um, how could the AI know? You know? So there's little things like that. Uh, I mean, the AI works on what's there, and you can actually get it to guess, and it does guess really, really good. But, um, I mean, like I say, there are people that are taking pictures and are completely changing everything, um, so that it has no resemblance to what it actually was. What I like, though, is when you take a picture and you pull out what's there, but emphasize it. I've done that with pictures of the moon, for example or I've brought up the highlights or increased the, the orange in the sky or the slight blue and something. And all of a sudden the moon will look like, you know, something out of a Star Wars movie or, or something like that. I don't know if I can give a Star Wars movie as a, an example since I haven't seen most of them. Anyway, but uh, I get you, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big thing going on over here. And I think in all the world right now talking about movies. Is, uh, they're calling it Barbieheimer. It's the Oppenheimer movie about the bomb and uh, Barbie about stupidity, I guess. Anyway, I'll, I'll maybe you have to take that back because I'll offend somebody, I suppose. But anyway, you know, there's uh, those two movies that are out. It's kind of amusing that uh, that the Barbie doll is, uh, you know, making, again, money for Mattel. Uh, thanks to, leave it at that, thanks to people. Anyway, <laughs> I have no intention of going to see that movie. No, no, not really at all, actually. And even when it comes on TV, I'm not going to watch it. Although some people are right. They say sometimes you got to see a movie before you criticize it. Uh, I'll give them that. So maybe one day when it's on television and I'm drunk, maybe I'll watch it. Maybe not. Anyway, oh my goodness, up to 10 minutes. Now talk about a waste of time. Now that is a waste of time. No, it isn't. I'm glad you're here. 
Okay, so I'll be DC signing off. I'm gonna stop this holding my beer with this hand and sign off. Take care, everybody, and uh, have a good Thursday. Bye bye.